The Pope appoints a black cardinal. Oh, gosh. Rolling my eyes. And an update on Turkey and Armenia and Azerbaijan and all that stuff. I don't really know what's going on there, but I have a little update for you. And more drama over blacks and cops. This is Hake News for the end of hour two of the Jesse Lee Peterson Show. Monday, October 26th, 2020. Stay tuned for hour three. Jesse Lee will be right back. 7.55 a.m. here in Los Angeles. But first, Hake News, not fake news. By the way, I host the Hake Report right after Jesse Lee's show. Uh, 9 a.m. Monday through Friday, two hours. TheHakeReport.com slash show. More stunts by this so-called Pope. Pope Francis appointed the America's first black cardinal, Wilton Gregory, who's also the U.S.'s first and only black archbishop, whatever those things are. That's in the far left swamp of Washington, D.C. Don't know much about what this guy believes, but he is known for guiding CNN's word. The Catholic Church through its clergy sexual abuse scandal in the early 2000s, 2004, he said, we bishops are keeping our word on church reforms. However, he's replacing this Cardinal Donald Wuerl, W-U-E-R-L, who resigned in October 2018 bowing to public anger over his role in that, I guess it's ongoing, sexual abuse crisis. How effective was he then Then guiding it, huh? Whatever. Cardinal's primary responsibility is to elect a new pope. Sounds pretty useless to me, huh? Should he step down or die? Nine of the 13 new cardinals that appointed by Pope Francis are under the age of 80. They'd be eligible to elect this Pope Francis guy's successor, Cardinals wear red to indicate their willingness to sacrifice themselves to the point of shedding their own blood in the service of the successor of Peter. (laughs) Okay. Turkey president got nerve. CNN reports that France has condemned Turkish president Recep Tayyip Erdogan and recalled its ambassador to Ankara after Erdogan made comments about French President Emmanuel Macron. Erdogan suggested that Macron needed some sort of mental treatment. (laughs) I kind of agree. But he says, this is the reason, which I don't agree, over his attitude towards Muslims in France. What? And said that the French president, I say they're too nice to them. But this guy says the French president doesn't believe in freedom of religion. That's rich. Macron has vowed to crack down on radical, radical Islamism. After the slaying this month of Samuel Patti, remember that? The history teacher was beheaded by an 18-year-old Muslim radical, of which there are so many, after giving a lesson on the controversial caricatures of Islam's Prophet Muhammad from the satirical newspaper Charlie Hebdo. A A spokesman for Macron's office said France would not tolerate the excess of rudeness of Erdogan's comments. By the way, speaking of Turkey, an Armenia update. President Real Donald Trump tweeted, I believe yesterday, Congratulations to Armenian Prime Minister Nikol Pashinyan, Pashinyan, a male, and Azerbaijani President Ilham Ayelev, whatever, Ayelev, who just agreed to adhere to a ceasefire agreement effective at midnight. Many lives will be saved. Proud of my team, Secretary Mike Pompeo and Steve Bagan, and White House Security Council, I think, for getting the deal done. However, the far-left foreign outlet BBC reports that Armenia and Azerbaijan have accused each other of violating this latest U.S.-brokered ceasefire over the disputed territory of Nagorno and Karabakh, minutes after it came into effect on Monday. Fighting erupted on the 27th of September around the mountainous enclave. The conflict has intensified again in recent days. The humanitarian ceasefire was announced on Sunday in a, uh, you know, in a joint statement by these three countries, U.S., Azerbaijan, and Armenia. But it apparently is not holding because they're all accusing each other of gross violations and shooting each other and stuff like that. In a post on fr- Facebook, Armenian Prime Minister insisted that the country continues to strictly adhere to their ceasefire. However, the Daily Beast reports Azerbaijan's Turkish and Israeli drones are wiping out tanks, artillery, and soldiers. And it's crazy. I'm James Hake. Now on to Hour 3 with Jesse Lee Peterson.